Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So we have prepared the front end to create a new post. So we have a post form here. And if I open the VS Code, when we created the project, I chose to have SQLite as a database. Now, if you don't prefer that, and you, if, if you prefer to have a MySQL, let's open here. You can use also, if you have a Heart Pro, you have with the Heart Pro, the mysql as a service but if you don't want to spend money on the hurt pro you can open the db engine so open the db engine.com and download this tool so i have downloaded that and let's install okay so first we need to move this to application and another tool i want to show you is the table plus so go and search for table plus and download also the table plus so the type table plus is for mac os ios windows and linux okay and also the db engine used that uh, to display the database so now i'm going to open the db engine here let's say open check automatically and here let's create a new mysql connection the name is going to be mysql and just say create okay now as you can see if i say start and here we have an arrow key if i click here we have open in table plus i'm going to install first the table plus so let's also install the table plus here and then we can open the database okay so now let's click here and say open in table plus this mysql connection open and here we have the table plus and we have the default uh, databases i'm going to create a new database and say uh, laravel underscore tutorial okay let's click ok and open this one now we need to navigate on the .env file and change this db connection to be mysql ok also on comment everything here the port is 3306 the name is laravel underscore tutorial the username is root and the password is empty now if i save that and let's open the terminal wait open new terminal as you can see i have run the npm run dev because we need that and here on new terminal i'm going to say php artisan migrate and hit enter and yeah we have run in migrations and has created the users table cache and the jobs let's close this and let's open the table plus and if i refresh here we have now okay so we have users session and so on okay so now we have users which is empty and for now what i'm going to do i'm going to open the terminal and just let me open right here I'm going to clean this and I'm going to use the tinker which we can use to interact with the project from the command line so I'm going to say php artisan tinker hit enter okay and now let's create a new user from here I'm going to say user colon colon create and inside the parentheses, I'm going to add an array. If I open the table blast, the users has name, email, email verified at, which is null, as you can see. Also, we have a password, a remember token, created that and updated that. So let's say I'm going to add name, email, and the password here. 
So name is going to be Tony, for example. And okay, like this email is going to be Tony at email.com and password is going to be let's say for now just password as a string if I hit enter as you can see we returned the user with name email password now password is hashed as you can see because by default if I open uh, yeah here just let me show you we have also the ID one updated that and we created that and let's just scroll this down and I'm going to close now let's open the user model we're going to talk more about that but for now just to show you and here we have protected function class which return an array we have the email verified at which is a dated time and password is hashed so if we because we have added just a string password this mean that is going to be hashed and for that if i open now here and refresh as you can see we have this uh, user okay with name tony email email tonyemail.com and the password this one okay friends that's it all about this video to connect the database and just create a simple user through the artisan tinker in the next video we are going to start and work with the project so i'm going to close this one and yeah here we have the form we need to create also the post migration because we don't have the post migration right now as you can see here we have the model but we don't have the migration. We need to create also the migration and then store the data, what we have put here into the database. Okay, now if you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much, friends.